Hi there, and welcome to Five Questions with an ISHL team member. I'm Jess Burke, Director of Marketing and Communications with the International Society for Heart and Lung Transplantation. And I am here today with Dr. An Wen. Good morning, An. Good morning, Jessica. Uh, well, it's great to have you here. But before we dive into our five questions, let me ask you the first one, which is, who are you, where do you work, and what is your role in the ISHLT community? Hi, uh, hello again. Uh, my name is Anh Nguyen. I am a medical doctor coming from Vietnam. Currently, I am working as a research specialist at the University of California in San Francisco. Regarding my role at the International Society for Heart and Lung Transplantation, uh, I am serving as a reviewer for the Journal of Heart and Lung Transplantation. And in addition, I have also helped to review abstract for the last two ISHLT annual meetings. So in the future, I really hope that I can get more and more involved with, the, with this society. Uh, I am going to submit a symposium proposal on lung transplant in developing country for the next uh, annual con conference in Boston. And our group here are also expecting, um, expressing our interest to contribute to the society consensus statement for the ECLS uh, role in lung transplantation. So with that, we hope to get more and more involved with the working that we are doing at ISSLT. Well, that's wonderful. Those are such important roles and you're really contributing to the society in a variety of ways through the journal and the meetings and these statements. I think that's fantastic. Um, what drew you to ISHLT in the first place? Why did you get involved and what makes this the society for you? Mm, uh, an interesting question. Uh, my journey with ISHLT really started kind of four years ago uh, when I first became an ISHLT member. At that time, we decided to develop a new lung transplant program in Vietnam. So we found that ISHLT is really the way to go because there are a lot of great resources here from standards, guidelines, journal, educational materials, uh, and last but not least, uh, the opportunity to have interactive communication on the forum with one class expert in the field. So I still remember uh, very well at that time when I post a question on the forum, uh, ISHLT Connect, uh, within uh, kind of 24 hours, I received a lot of feedback, I think around 10 feedback from many experts all over the world, from US, uh, Europe, Canadian, uh, Australia. So at that time, I didn't know who is who, but then gradually I know they are all uh, world-class experts in the field. So I feel so amazing that they are so easy to talk to and so helpful. Uh, to us. Uh, so, and I want to say one of uh, my, um, one of the things I feel I've been very happy and very lucky uh, to receive the traveling scholarship from uh, the society. So with that, I have a chance to have a study tour for six weeks uh, at the University of California, San Francisco. Uh, they have a very wonderful lung transplant program here. So I come to learn and some of my team members in Vietnam also come here to learn. And we really have a good connection with all the faculty here. So even now, some faculty here still um, work as volunteers, contributing their valuable time to help us to continue to develop the lung transplant program in Vietnam. So uh, with that, I feel very feel grateful uh, to ISSLT very happy, very lucky for us to be an ISHLT member, um, to be a part of this wonderful community. It's just wonderful to hear that because it really is about sharing knowledge across those boundaries. And I'm so glad that's the experience that you and your colleagues are having. Um, what inspired your career path? What brought you to study medicine? What brought you to research lung transplantation? Uh, thank you, Siska. Uh, so I believe it is science. Uh, I studied medicine at medical school, but then I decided not to practice as a clinician. I want to focus my time more on uh, research. I want to be a researcher, a scientist, so that I can uh, find new ways uh, of doing things, finding new things uh, to uh, so that might be helpful 
uh, that may be applicable or translate it to clinical practice to have uh, as many people as possible. So with that regard, I think lung transplant served me very well because it is a very challenging area of medicine. Uh, there are still many mysteries to explore. There are still many opportunities for discoveries and for improvement. As you know, lung transplant is uh, an area of, uh, it's a multidisciplinary area of surgery, pulmonology, immunology, infectious disease, and so on. So there are so much to study. There are so much to, to discover. And uh, we should try our best to find new way, new solutions so that our lung transplant uh, patient can have a better survival, better quality of life. And also our lung transplant candidate, um, they have a better quality of life during the, uh, the time of waiting. Uh, they uh, survive more on the waiting list. Uh, they are transplanted more and more, especially in a resort limited setting. So yeah. that's, what, uh, that's my motivation to, uh, uh, to follow this career path. Absolutely. And I can tell you're a researcher at heart because your eyes light up when you talk about mysteries. Um, I think that's fantastic. Um, what is a meaningful milestone, either in your career or in the field in general, that you would like to share? Hi. Uh, actually, uh, I do not have a really meaningful milestone of my own, but I would say that uh, the first successful lung transplant uh, that we did last year in September in Vietnam by our team is a remarkable achievement. It was really a, a success of the whole team and to be exact, it, uh, a success of the whole system in Vietnam because we can uh, mobilize many resources. We can get everybody on board from Lung Transplant Center to other surrounding institution and the donor network in the countries. So all of us work together, together with the support internationally from experts here in UCFF distantly. So, so far we conduct a very successful uh, transplant and also the patient uh, survived very well, now almost 10 months. And we are still um, trying to work more and more to learn more during this journey. That is wonderful and such an important milestone. Um, as you look ahead to what's next, what do you see on the horizon for research in lung transplantation and in your area of research? Mm, yeah, certainly. I think there are still many things to do to find new uh, and better solutions uh, to solve the chal challenges in lung transplantation from uh, primary graft dysfunction to chronic lung allograft dysfunction and so on. Uh, and one of the things is the horizon that I see right now, maybe the cell therapy. Um, we, uh, with cell therapy, we use stem cell, we can help to manage uh, many conditions, many end state lung condition uh, for the patient on the waiting list. Uh, and also uh, using cell therapy, we can help to uh, manage uh, PGD and plant better uh, in addition to medicine, to traditional medicine. And also if we use stem cell, we apply in tissue engineering and um, regenerative medicine, uh, we can dream of the very far future when we can have a 3D bioprinting of uh, the lungs. So with that, we can have more and more lung for our patient, uh, not really lung from the donated uh, brain dead donors, but also lung that we can uh, we can um, regenerate, we can create from the, uh, the patient on a stem cell. So it is something we hope that I can see it happen in reality in my lifetime. Absolutely, I'm with you on that. Um, so a getting to know you question, what is your idea of a perfect weekend? What do you do when you're not in the lab and, and writing papers? What's, what's fun uh, for you? <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. I should say family time. We can, it's really family time where our family can go to Golden Gate Park, go to the ocean beach. Uh, my children uh, really like uh, the nature there, want to play there, either the playground, or sometimes we visit the Academy of Science or the public library nearby. Um, so uh, it's really uh, a good time to enjoy your time with, uh, my, uh, with my family. And also I love running. Uh, so in the weekend, I still, uh, 
Sometimes I have a long run in the park or in the beach. Uh, and also suddenly thing happen. We have, we are a busy lunch chat plan center. And you know, during the weekend, I often get a call like, uh, there's a lung chance plan tonight, let's go on uh, lung recovery. Uh, so that I'm, I'm ready for that. So mm -hmm. oftentimes we have around two chance plans in a week on average. So sometimes at weekend I go on lung procurement. Uh, if it's something interrupt, uh, uh, interrupted during the, the, the holiday in, uh, with your, my family, but uh, I feel happy and motivated because I know that, that uh, one more person uh, is going to be killed. Uh, and actually, one donor can save up to eight life. So I think uh, it's a very rewarding career uh, to follow and to, to have. Absolutely, and it's, it's when duty calls, it's a good thing to be interrupted to do. Um, well, it's been wonderful talking with you. Is there anything else you want to share with the ISHLT community that we haven't talked about already today? Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say for new members of the society or even uh, someone who is interested but not yet uh, registered to be a member, uh, I think uh, the society is really a, a, a helpful environment, a friendly environment where people can learn from uh, many experts in the field all around the world. So I would encourage the colleagues from uh, developing world uh, who is going to develop the lung transplantation or want to push their lung transplant service to the next level. Let's join the society. Let's be a part of this wonderful society. A lot of resources and a lot of motivation to, uh, to learn how to do better and better. Fantastic. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. And thank you, Dr. Wen, so much for taking time to chat with me today. Um, I, I'm really excited to hear about what happens next for, for your research and to hear more stories about lung transplantation from your team in, in Vietnam. That's fantastic. Yes, thank you very much, Jessica, for having me.